As we've redone a lot of the cucumber functionality, I'm going to create a couple of videos that shows you how to work with cucumber now in Busang. So what I've done is I've created an empty project for us to demo on. Uh, so what I'll do is, uh, just like you would start, uh, this is the same view that you would have. And remember, as usual, we're using the lab.busang.com. Okay. And the good thing is that now in the lab, we've added Cucumber feature and uh, scenario specifications. So you have something to get started with. There will be an upcoming Udemy course where we go into Cucumber in more depth. But right now, uh, here is a little taste of what you're going to see. Uh, as usual, remember when you're in Busang and you go up to the main navigation, we'll have modules, which is the code domain where you test live. And in Cucumber, that would be the test step implementations. And then you have the features, which is the business domain where your Cucumber feature and scenario lives. Uh, of course, you can use, as usual, the import feature function. And uh, here, as usual, you can also add an integration point where you can synchronize. I can show you really quickly under integration. You can now uh, synchronize with a bunch of different systems. You can have features in GitLab, GitHub, Bitbucket, X-Ray and Acer. OK, so you can synchronize the features directly from them where they would be the master system and Busang would be the slave. So all the test step implementations will live in Busang. And of course, the execution engine and then the actual Cucumber files would live in your version control system or in X-Ray. But right now we're going to do it. Keep it simple. No integration points. And remember now I'm just clicking new feature. So before we made it a little bit more complex where you had to create the scenarios individually. But right now you can actually import a feature straight away. So we're going to import the sorted list feature. So we're going to go into sorted list cucumber specification and we're going to copy all this. So just control A, control C, and then instead of filling out the feature name, just click import features and paste all of this straight into Busang and it will auto generate the features and the scenarios inside. That means that in Busang, that would mean it's kind of a, a you know, a feature. You, you will create the feature name sorted list. Then you create the test suite sorted list. So you can run all the scenarios inside the feature. And then when you click into it, the feature will of course show up as not implemented. So that's one way to get really quickly started with Busang. So let me, uh, I mean, Cucumber in Busang. And remember that all of these are executable directly when they're imported they will just show us non, not implemented in the report, right? You see this little yellow not implemented and under report, you will see them as not implemented. So that's what it would look like before you start linking test step implementations to that. An alternative way, if you don't want to synchronize, if you want to create a scenario manually, you can go into the feature and just click new scenario and of course, you can now fill in, given I have an item, when I give it away, then I shouldn't have it. So now you can, of course, manually create something. And let's say this is the item test, right? Or keep it destructive, give away item scenario okay and we go submit and as you can see i have an item i give it away i shouldn't have it so that's how simple it is to get started with the cucumber so the next uh, video we're going to look at how would you implement these things in busan